world, we've just loaded into McLaurin Farms in Greensboro, North Carolina to check out their Christmas festival that they have here. I've never done the Christmas festival part, but I have done their Halloween attraction called Woods of Terror, and that was absolutely amazing. So I'll put that link in the description below. Now I have heard that the Christmas festival has a Grinch, a Santa Claus, um, a walkthrough light show, um, a hayride and everything. They also have a little grill. We might grab us something to eat as well. But I'm excited to take you all in there because this is not only my first time, but I get to take you all with me. So let's go check it out. We did get here a little bit early, five o'clock to be precise, and they asked us to park over in this little overflow lot next to the entrance to wait until it gets a little bit closer to six, which is the opening time. We have made it in and parked the Jeep, and we're about to go in here and check it out, but first I wanted to point something out. There are ATMs over there in case you need it, and nice bathrooms right there. Look over here, I'm gonna give you a sneak preview at that. How nice does that look? All right, we have our ticket. We're headed into Christmas Town, which is usually the midway for uh, Woods of Terror. <laughs> they got elves over here, lights. Oh, look, there's Olaf. Over here, it looks like they've got some rest uh, restrooms. I about said restaurants. <laughs> That's definitely not it. Ornament making, and it looks like they have some elves or fairies or something over here helping people. Now, I really have no idea what they have lined up for us tonight, but we're about to talk to Eddie, and he's the owner of this farm, and I guess we'll find out then. While you're checking out this sick photo op, I want to remind everybody that these are Christmas lights, and as you can see, they are flashing. So if you have any issues with that, just keep that in mind. This video will contain flashing lights. All right, so I am now talking to the owner named Eddie of McLaurin Farms. This place is pretty cool so far. How do you do it? <clears throat> well, I appreciate it, man, to be honest. But the secret is having a great staff. I've got 10 or 12 people that work the whole for the last three months on Christmas. And having great people and great staff is the way I do it. I just, I just point them in the right direction, and they do a great job. Well, they certainly do, because back here for uh, Halloween, it was absolutely terrifying, and it is certainly not that now. It is absolutely gorgeous. So how long does it take you to decorate for this? When do you start decorating? That'd be a better answer. We actually start hanging lights around September the 1st with two guys, and then October the 1st, we had another guy. And uh, we actually got lights all hung through the woods, even at Wichita there. We just don't have them plugged up. So it's about a three-month process. That's crazy. Yep. Um, so another question. Why don't you decorate your mohawk? I thought about that, but I'm going to tell you, after Halloween, after 22 nights of putting that thing up and taking it down, I just need a break from the mohawk. And you know, after we were talking about the mohawk, I thought about something else. Where's the snake at? The snake, she, she is in a warm, toasty building. She don't like she don't like cold weather, so I fed her the other day, and she don't like this kind of weather. All right, that's cool. Do you have anything else to tell anybody? Man, it's just great to have you here. This is our ninth year at McLaurin Farms Country Christmas. Log on to McLaurinFarms.com, get some tickets, or you can buy tickets on site. All right, cool. Well, um, I'm having a good time, and I can't wait to see what you guys All have right, in man, store for coming out. All right, thanks. All right, thank you. That was cool getting to see Eddie again. Um, they gave us this little pamphlet here, and I wanted to show you all what all there is to do here. So if you're interested in seeing all the things to do, just pause the video now and look at this list here. So we're gonna go through here, and I guess we check all those little things off, and we're gonna have some fun doing it. We just met Santa, and it was a really pretty setup there. Like, look how nice they look. Next to the stage in the midway is where you're going to go to do the walkthrough. So you're right there. You're probably going to enter through that barn. And next to it is where you're going to go to do the hayride. And I think that is going to be our first order of business is to do the hayride. So I'm pretty excited about that. You know, who's not excited about a hayride? When you get in line to do the walkthrough or the hayride, you get to get a picture with Jack Skellington. Well, dang, it looks like Sally's here too. We had to skip the Jack Skellington photo op because our little one was terrified, but now we're gonna enter through this little barn here, and last time there was a guy with a chainsaw. You don't have a chainsaw, do you? No, no chainsaws, we're merry, not scary. Right? Oh, okay, All okay, right. well that's good. Hay ride or... All right, it is our turn to ride the hay ride. Look at this, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of this. Oh snap, this is the hay ride. That's cool that it has stairs. Yeah. All right, that first step is a big one. All right, here we are, we are on the tractor ride, the hay ride. Check this out. This is going to be a good one.
how cool was that hayride? I had a blast here at McLaurin Farms on that tractor going through the, all the lights. That was really cool. Um, I, th I just blown away at how they can go from an amazing Halloween thing over to an amazing Christmas thing so quickly. So yeah, I had a blast, loved it. Hope you guys liked it. I think now we're either gonna do the playground or the walkthrough. So let's go check that out. And before we do that, I wanted to point out that their slogan for the Christmas festival is from scary to merry. So as terrifying as this place is in Halloween, there is nothing scary here for Christmas. So it's very family friendly. Okay, our daughter has chosen to do the playground first and I do not like putting kids on camera that much. So I'm not gonna go in there and record too awfully much, but I'm just gonna say this. They have a 40 foot long sl uh, slide and they have a Meet the Grinch over here as well where that Christmas tree is. All right, I think we're far enough away, but check out these little bouncy pillows they have here. That was a lot of fun. The Grinch even came up and jumped on it with my daughter, so that was cool. All right, this place is a little bit empty, but it is super cool. This is the playground for McLaurin Farms right here. That is a 40 foot tall, or 40 foot long slide, not tall. And they have a swing set right next to me. After playing at that playground, we're pretty hungry. So we walked over here to this little food trailer and this is what they have. So if you're interested in eating here, just pause the video and check it out. The Grinch here at McLaurin Farms, he's a real deal. That was super cool. <laughs> I'm thinking it's time to get on these barrel cars over here and take a ride. Hopefully I fit in them. Hey. <laughs> My dad? No, I haven't. Oh. Actually, wait, I did. He's over there, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so yeah, hopefully these are big enough barrels for a full grown man, but we're about to find out. <laughs> All right, here it goes. This is my barrel. I did it. It was a tight squeeze, but I got in it. Let's ride this barrel. <laughs> How am I going to get out of here? Ugh. I got one leg. Oh. We made it. We are finally back into the midway. Now we've already done the hay ride with the tractor and all, and they even have a walkthrough experience. So that's what we're about to do is the walkthrough experience. So I'm going to go check on the stroller, see if everything's good. And then let's go do that. It's Cousin Eddie. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. All right, the walkthrough experience has started. So we not only got to ride the tractor around here, but they have like an inner loop for a walkthrough and that's what we're doing now. Peace, hope, and droid. And the greatest was droid. That doesn't sound right. Awesome carriage photo up here. You know, if you wanted to get a family picture for like a Christmas card or something like that, this place has a lot of really good opportunities for those. Y'all, we have been all over the East Coast for Christmas events in Florida and things like that. And for this right here, this Christmas festival to be in right in our backyard in Greensboro, North Carolina is awesome. This is a gorgeous thing to go to. I mean, how many lights do they have up? You got dancing lights over there. You've got the Grinch, Santa, a hayride, everything. This is amazing. There goes the hayride that we were just on. I have to admit, I think that was one of my favorite things in this so far. The The ride was really smooth. They had uh, stairs to get up in the back of it, so it wasn't really that hard to get up in there. Um, I thought it was a really good ride. It lasted for a good while too, so that was nice. During the hay ride, I thought this was pretty neat, but I was B-rolling it so I couldn't talk about it. Over here is where you enter like one of the haunted attractions and you actually go through that tube right there and out the other side. And I didn't know that when I did that for Halloween. So it's really cool to be able to see what we did. Um, honestly, those things are so scary. You kind of get discombobulated and don't really know where you're walking. I'm sure I should have noticed that the house was not that long, but I didn't. Over here, we have some ice skates hung up on the wall, a nice warm fire, which is very uh, appreciated right now. And we have an awesome little light tunnel. So let's go through it. Top of the morning to you, snowman. There it goes. During our little walkthrough, we found this famous dude up here. I don't know if you all know about him or not, but he's pretty popular up north. 
So we've made it through there. This nice lady right here gave us a candy cane. Now we're gonna head on past this tractor. I thought this tractor was really pretty. And we're gonna go up the hill here back to the blow ups. How cool is this radio flyer? That's the biggest wagon I think I've ever seen and it's got a blow up dog on there. Super cool. Here's some minions up here. We missed those earlier. I love minions, you know? We go to Universal all the time. We're annual pass holders down there. And we have a blast. I love these minions in, at Universal and I love them here at McLaurin Farms. They're super cool. What does a minion want for Christmas? Banana! Banana! We have completed our loop here for the walkthrough and I have to say it was completely different than the wagon. So if you're thinking about either riding the wagon or doing the walkthrough, don't and just do both because they're two completely different tracks and both of them are awesome. I thought this place was awesome before, but now I really know they're even awesomer. Look at this, they got a blow up big mouth Billy Bass. When's the last time you thought about that dude? Hey cousin Eddie, I, yeah, I got you something to give to me and I made sure it was real nice. Or? Yeah. Okay. So th thank you. <laughs> We're almost finished, so I'm gonna get me a hot chocolate to take on the road. I'm gonna wave, hey. Yeah. Hey Santa, Miss Claus. I'm not Santa. What's your name? Okay, that works. <laughs> I'd like to point out that they do have a place for your kid to write a letter to Santa. I head on into the gift shop here. You know, it says it's a candy gift shop. So let's see what they have. It looks like they have some clothing up here and a lot of good food. I'm guessing it's made on the farm because it's labeled as McLaurin. So yeah, lots of good food cool merch. There's some t-shirts up there. That would be what I would get because I roast alive in flannel and things. That is a wrap here at McLaurin Farms in Greensboro, North Carolina. I'd like to thank them for inviting us out. That includes Eddie, Peggy, Erica, and everybody else that was involved. This is a great place to bring your family to for Christmas, y'all. I had a blast. Like, I really enjoyed the hayride the best. But the walkthrough and everything else was wonderful too. We got to meet the Grinch, got to meet Santa. It's been a good time. I have to say I would totally come back to this. But yeah, I hope you guys had a good time and I hope it helped you out. Uh, thanks for playing, y'all. See you in the next video. Bye.